All right, welcome flock back to Black's Phoenix Entertainment for a super exciting video on this thing. Very first vlog on my new 2022 Can-Am Riker Sport. Uh, yeah, I'm going to explain why I went with this particular bike in this video. I'm not going to do a comparison video with my Spider. That's going to be a totally separate video. So this one is just strictly on why I chose this and this particular model. So, stick around. Okay, so <laughs> I realized after the intro, some of the things that I want to talk about why I chose this are um, options that I should talk about off the bike. Uh, first and foremost, for the Riker Sport, it comes with a few different things that um, the regular Rikers don't. Uh, this it's a 900. It's got the 900 motor. It comes with these rims. These rims are not the same that you get on a regular Riker 600 or 900. These, as far as I know, these are particular to the sport, and I liked them. They're 16 inch rims, and I was like, that's what I want to go for. <laughs> the other thing it comes with stock. Look at this. You got your KYB adjustable performance suspension. That is what it comes with, and the back rear shock has its own dial. You can dial that in for if you're going two up or you got storage or, you know, just depends on what you're doing. Now, a noticeable thing for you guys who have Rikers is this thing, the max mount. The max mount comes stock on the Riker Sport, which is huge. And if you're into Riker groups and you know about Rikers, you know that it, that is huge. It's totally huge because that's like a... I think it's like $350 or $400 from Can-Am just to add that on. And what the Max Mount does is you can add on a passenger seat, storage, some other things. You can even, I think you can even attach some things onto the back of this. So it gives you a lot of options. There. The other thing, this little button right here, cruise control. The Riker Sport comes stock with cruise control. And I'm staring at this camera and I'm hoping it's working. I'm going to try this new view here on the Riker. Um, I've already tested out the cruise control. Oh, it is amazing. I like the throttle lock on the Spider, and it works, but having actual, real electronic cruise control, it's awesome. Okay, so the other thing as to why I went with the Sport over the Rally, which I know that's a question that you guys have, like, why didn't I just spend the extra money and go for the Rally? This is why. If I hold this, Sport Mode activated! <laughs> yes, the rallies do come with rally mode. The sports come with what is called sport mode. There is a significant difference. Now, the rallies are made, they have rally suspension, they have rally tires on them. Rally mode is more for dirt, and it comes straight from Can Am BRP's website. You can check that out. They say, yes, that mode is for if you're on a slippery surface, dirt, um, I guess you could call snow or you know whatever something like that something very similar to dirt gravel all that fun stuff sport mode and again brp can am says this specifically is for pavement they say that mode wee is made to give you less traction and more fun drifting on dry pavement just like that Oh man, that was fun. <laughs> that guy was like staring at me like, what is this thing drifting around the corner? But yeah, I've already broken the spot. Yes, um, I already said spider. I already did it. I've already broken the Riker in. Look at, I'm already, if I can, i see if the camera picks this up. I'm already at 225 miles. Breaking period is like 200 miles-ish. So we're good to go on that. I've already practiced drifting. I've already done all of this, so. I'm good to go on this Riker. I have to say, I am still 100% comfortable on this just as much as I am on my Spider. Alright, so, I've talked about why I picked this particular model Riker. Why did I go with the Riker in general? I'm sure that's a question that you guys probably wanted me to answer in like the first minute. I did look around. I looked around a lot. I did a lot of thinking, and again, this was something I've been thinking about basically from the start of the summer. I always said, I'm gonna get something by the end of 2022 or the end of 2023, depending on how things pan out. And depending, of course, on what Can-Am came out with. I was waiting, their, um, 
released was in August of what they were going to do for 2023 model. So I was like, oh, let me at least wait till then and just kind of see if there's anything really super interesting that came out. To be perfectly honest, can am you guys came out with absolutely nothing interesting. I, I do like that gold rally. That gold rally looks good with the gold tires and the gold plating. I'll put up a picture here. But that's just cosmetic. There's nothing different about it. It's still the same old rally from last year. You guys just added a cool gold package, which again is appreciated and that looks really good. But really, if you already have a Riker rally, that's not, you can just pick up the accessories. You don't need to buy a whole new rally. And there was a brief period I was looking at two-wheel bikes. I was looking at smaller bikes, Groms, Navis, stuff like that. Something that doesn't have as much weight, so it really wouldn't bother my back all that much. I say briefly, because then I really thought of them and said, for what I do for riding, for what I need, like a bike that small, yeah, I could ride it, but it doesn't f check all the boxes that I need in a bike. So that, that really wasn't on the table for all that long. Now, as far as other three-wheelers, Harleys, Goldwings, just not my style, just not my thing. Nothing against them. They're really cool, and they have a ton of storage and stuff like that, but it's, they're not for me. So let's get into the Spider lineup then. Um, the RT's touring, not for what I'm going to be doing it for. I go on one trip a year down to VAM at this point. I don't need that big of a spider. I don't need that much storage. Mama Phoenix doesn't ride with me all that often enough where we would need like that limited model that we test rode. Um, yeah, so that that was off the table. I was looking at the F3s and I really did give the F3s a look. Um, there's the F3 Limited, which I know Purple on 3 has. She does a ton of riding. Her and Tommy G, they do a ton of touring, riding across the country. They went down Route 66. That works for them. Uh, that works for her. That's perfect. It's enough storage. You know, it, it does what it needs to do. That, for me, again, goes into that whole RT uh, category where it's, it's, it's too much. I don't need that. Then I was looking like the F3 Special Edition, which is nice. It's got some uh, different pieces to it. The problem with that is it's still, it's all cosmetic. There's nothing else besides cosmetics that makes it a special edition. So I really think Can-Am and BRP really need to up their game when they start calling things special editions and limited and stuff like that. Like you really got to add more than just some, some nice pieces to it. So all that being said, yeah, the F3, I'm not saying it wouldn't have worked. If I got like a regular F3, I'm trying to think. I think it was the F3S. That probably would have worked. I could have spent a little bit more money on the special edition. But then we talk about money. God, like the prices have just gone up substantially on the F3s. And again, you're not getting all that much more. The F3 lineup is totally stale, 100% stale. Everybody knows it. We've been planning online, like do something with the F3 lineup, anything, a motor swap, something like give us something to you know, for guys who have a 20, an older F3 from 2015 up to want to switch to a newer model. It makes no sense. So I looked at that. I looked at the money. I'm like, yeah, this it's not going to work for me, brother. So, of course, I looked at the Riker lineup. And the two things that really helped, and if you follow the channel, which you should be, and if you're not, go down. I'm going to tell you right now, do all that fun YouTube stuff. Do the liking, do the subscribing, do the sharing. Make me one of the bigger three-wheel channels on YouTube. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, Mel from the South Shore Spider Riders, let me test ride her Riker. I was like, oh, okay. You know, I like it, I gotta be interested. Then Can-Am did their test rides and I have that video uh, up there. That really sold me on the Riker. I was so comfortable on it, uh, the seating position, stuff like that. I was like, all right, I think this is where I'm gonna lean towards. And I'm gonna switch to the studio real quick because I wanna talk about the seating position and, the com and why it makes such a big difference for me and I want to show a visual because I don't, I think it's hard to visualize if you haven't sat on an RS Spider and a Riker, you may be like, oh, it can't be that different. How, how is it much, you know, how is a Riker much more comfortable for you? Let's switch to the studio, to Studio Ryan, and he will explain all of that stuff. All right, we're back in the studio. We're going to talk about the seating position real quick. I got a couple picks up. Here we go. So here's the seating position on the Spider, and as you can see, the brake and the pedals are a little bit further back, you know, kind of like a sports bike. And then you're angled more leaning forward here to get to the handlebars. So there's the position there. Let's switch real quick to the Riker. Boom! Switch. 
There we go. There you go. See, now I've got the foot pegs and handlebars on the Riker are fully adjustable. I've got these foot pegs set all the way forward. And interestingly enough, I've got the handlebars set a little bit further back so I can get more of that straight up tight position. So as you can probably guess, judging by someone with sciatica and back issues, that this is a much more comfortable position to be in. And on the knees, as you bring this up, over time, this type of position kind of bugs this whole area here. So that's just real quick. That's the difference in seating positions. Let's shoot right back to the vlog. All right, so I hope that kind of explains a little bit more as to, you know, the seating position, my back, stuff like that. So, yeah, that is that. And earlier in the video, I explained, you know, some of the options the Sport has and why I chose the Sport over the other models. Um, 600 was out of the question. Um, I know a lot of guys, they have some fun on the 600s. I do way too much riding, way too much highway. To, and just the lack of power the 600 has just that just wasn't for me so it was definitely going to be a 900 model no matter what um the regular 900 ace model just didn't have enough options on it so it, that was out of the question as well so it was between the rally and the sport and i looked at it and i looked at the type of riding i do and what's around here and there's no there's no dirt i don't do a lot of dirt riding there's aren't a lot of places where that would come into play for me and just the extra money of the rally for some of those options i would never use just didn't make any sense so that is why i am riding this 2022 riker sport it is has absolutely everything that i needed wanted and could ever ask for in a new bike it is um like i said i've put over 200 miles on it already and this is my third day of owning it third day i'm filming this vlog for you guys on my third day i put 100 miles a day on it basically on the first two days just to get it broken in and just to get used to it and so i could use sport mode activate <laughs> all right there is nobody around i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do sport mode go <laughs> oh man this thing is this is quick. This is deceptively quick. And, um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be catching myself a lot of like, hey, maybe I should tone it down just a little bit. All right. So here we are. End of the video. That. All of that is why I went with the 2022 Can Am Riker Sport. Look at this thing. It's awesome. Awesome stuff. Love it. As you guys can tell, I'm already having a lot, a lot of fun with it. So, I'm going to get... There's going to be more videos, guys. Don't worry. I'm not going to get into absolutely everything in this one video because that would just be crazy long. And I wouldn't have any more cool content for you. So, if you like what I'm doing, go down there. Like, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube stuff I talked about earlier. Um, share it with your friends. Share it with your Riker friends. Now that I've got a Riker, we could do uh, some cool stuff with that. Bring some of you guys in here. And, while you're all down there in my description, I still have all that cool stuff for you. I still got my Lunified deal. You can save some money on their cool stuff. Highly suggest checking out their website. They got a lot of cool stuff besides shirts, guys. You got to check it out. And, Black Phoenix merchandise. No, save some money on that. So, we're done here. I'm going to go uh, activate sport mode again. Head home. Thank you for rocking with the flock. And, I'll see you guys on the next one.